PAP stands for Password Authentication Protocol. It's a very, very old protocol that's seldom used these days because it is not complex at all. You may recall in a previous video, we talked about the Kerberos process of authenticating where there's a ticket granting server, there's a lot of encryption involved, you can be assured that no, there's no man in the middle, where you get none of that with the password authentication protocol. PAP is absolutely in the clear. Whenever you send a username and password, it is sending your username and your password across the network. This is at a time when we were sending dial-up communication. It was all on a private network. There was no worldwide internet with everyone connected together and people tapping into our connections. There wasn't the same emphasis in keeping things private. And so the PAP functionality worked fine. We could send our username and password to a server, and that server granted us access. Well, obviously, we didn't want to keep that insecure method. So there was an update to PAP, one called CHAP. This is a challenge handshake authentication protocol. There's also a version of CHAP that was modified by Microsoft to work better in a Microsoft environment. You'll see that referred to as MS CHAP. This CHAP is a three-way handshake. The server sends a challenge, and the workstation sends an authentication back to that challenge. And it uses a password hash, so we aren't sending an in-the-clear password across the network. Even once you create that first initial handshake back and forth, behind the scenes, the chat protocol may do this a number of times during your session. Just checking in and making sure that nothing has changed, that nobody's in the middle, and we're able to, again, send that challenge and send the response to that challenge through the network. The challenge from the server is going to come back asking for an authentication from our server. We're going to type in our username and password, or it will be a username and password that was previously stored. We're going to then hash the password. We're not going to send the password in the clear. So we'll use a mechanism to hash that. And then we're going to send back to the server our username and then the hashed password. And on the other side, the server is going to compare the hashes of what it has in its database to the hash that you've sent. And now you gain access to the network. And of course, that may occur many times during your session as that challenge is presented and the username and password hash is presented back to the server. It's using these PAP and CHAP methods that that usually we are authenticating into a service like a dial-up service or authenticating into a single device. For much larger environments, we would probably be using a much more complex authentication. But for our simple services, protocols like CHAP are perfect to use to be able to allow access but still keep things like your password very private.